Xylitol gum for teeth is powerful when used six times per day. By 2009, there'd been over 500 publications on xylitol alone, and it has been studied for nearly 50 years now. It was first researched in Finland, but rapidly expanded all over the globe, and now the journals are dominated by non-Finnish researchers. The reason for this kind of interest is due to early findings that pointed towards xylitol being an effective treatment and inhibitor of dental caries. Xylitol is a sugar which might seem bad at first, but did you know that the sugar in xylitol cannot be digested by bacteria and thus stops acid from being produced? What is xylitol? Xylitol is a 5-carbon sugar polyol which was discovered a century ago. It's found in vegetables, fruits, and berries, as well as being produced artificially by using birch and beechwood plant materials. It has a crystalline granular structure similar to sugar and is just as sweet, but unlike sugar and many other substitutes, xylitol is clinically proven to benefit the mouth by preventing cavities and reducing the onset of gum disease. It is globally accepted as a natural sweetener and approved by the Food and Drug Administration and the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. How does xylitol destroy bacteria? Xylitol lowers the levels of muton streptococci in the plaque and saliva by disrupting their energy production mechanisms, leading to reduced energy consumption and eventual cell death through starvation. It also stops microorganisms from attaching to the teeth and reduces their acid production rate. The great ability of xylitol is that it cannot be digested by plaque bacteria and there's a decrease in levels of muton streptococci as well as the amount of plaque when xylitol is consumed on a daily basis. Not to forget the fact that it also promotes remineralization of teeth by increasing the saliva flow around the mouth and also increases the pH levels inside of the mouth. In a study carried out in 1995, the plaque samples of habitual xylitol users showed a drastic reduction in plaque adhesiveness and insoluble extracellular polyacarides produced by S. mutons when compared with those who did not consume xylitol at all. How to use xylitol? The main way xylitol is consumed by people is through chewing gum. I had no idea three to four years ago that gum contains xylitol. It was only a year ago that I found out why they have the Dental Association logo on the packets. Weirdly, that was the reason I increased chewing gum from once every day to three to five times now. I feel like it does make a difference. My mouth feels cleaner and fresher after chewing some gum. Chewing gum also accelerates the process of washing away the acid on the teeth and the uptake of beneficial calcium phosphate molecules to remineralize tooth enamel. Yes, xylitol actually has the ability to remineralize teeth. Why is that important? Well, remineralization makes for stronger teeth. How much xylitol should you consume? To effectively inhibit muton streptococci, you need a dosage of 5 to 6 grams per day spread out over 3 to 4 times. However, going higher than 10 grams has been proven to be non-beneficial in terms of removing more bacteria. The recommended length of time for chewing gum after eating a meal is approximately 20 minutes, according to some studies. Anything lower and you're wasting the xylitol away. Which xylitol gum brand is the best? There are quite a few brands out there, but we've picked out Epic Gum as the standout place to buy all your xylitol products. What makes them stand out from the competition is the high amount of xylitol in their chewing gum. It has 1.02 grams per piece, which is the highest of all the brands. This means that you only need to take six pieces per day to get six grams of xylitol for it to be effective. Epic Gum also holds the flavor much longer than any other brand, with some customers saying they can still taste the flavor 30 minutes after first chewing it. If you're interested, go check them out. The prices are quite reasonable. The link is in the description box below. That's it for today, but before you go, please subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks, and see you next week.